Hello darlings, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and if you're another YouTuber, let me know down in the comments and I'll sub you back. And now for the video! Hello darlings, today's video is a St. Patrick's Day video. Don't mind the movement in the background. Ignore the man behind the curtain. I'm just setting up to start the video. So, anyways, um... I first want to get into my little shout outs just real quick. I'd like to give a shout out to Miss Val McPossum. I guess she likes to be called McPossum. Um, her channel is very interesting. She has a little bit of gameplay, a little bit of nails, um, you know, just an all around type of gal. So today is actually her birthday. I'm doing this the 16th. So happy birthday or belated birthday by the time you watch this. But I hope your day was magical. Okay, now these three ladies are all doing subscriber giveaways, the numbers of subscribers that they have, and then the red is the number that they're looking for to start their giveaways. So please check these ladies out. If you are not subscribed, subscribe. Share on Instagram or Facebook or wherever. Help these ladies reach these goals and hopefully win some wonderful prizes. Their channel links will be in the description box down below. Okay, and last but not least, Cherie from Just Nailed It is doing a Beatles giveaway. Yes, a Beatles giveaway for the French White Gel Polish Set, USA only. Um, it draws April 1st. I will link that specific video in the description box down below. Now let's get into our Glitter Girls collab for St. Patrick's Day. Okay, so... I started with two of the nails painted white with the Gel NY001 white. Um, I wanted to show a couple different ways that you could make clovers. Um, one is using hearts, the other is using drops, um, you know, like drop shaped stones. Um, I didn't have the right shape of drop to make it look really, really good as a clover. Um, I think that if the drop was fatter, like the droplet itself, it would have looked a lot better. Um, I also have done, I used glitter hearts on this, but I used glitter stones on a different nail. Um, glitter stones. I used heart stones on a different nail. And I think all in all, the hearts gave a better look of a clover. And of course, all mine were four leaf, trying to get that luck out there, right? Speak it into existence and all that. I am taking my drill, drill glue gel and placing it where I want to place the glitter or the stones. With the glitter, because it was open shaped in the middle, it kind of lost the 3D effect that that glitter has if you don't encapsulate it so I ended up just top coating over it because um I put glitter I mean I put glue the way that I would if it was solid so the glue kind of like flipped up in the middle um but there are two very easy ways to make clovers and you can do um you know three leaf clovers as well with these shapes um, but I just wanted to throw that in there as a nice little, you know, whatever. Now with this one, I saw an image on Pinterest and I wanted to emulate it a little bit. Not exactly the same, but um, again, I painted with the Gel NY001 white. And now I'm using a Lamook color. I'm not sure about the number, but it's a very pretty green with gold glitter. I put a couple coats on there. Um, now I am taking, which I, I thought it was black, but it actually is the Crush on Blue. It's a very deep blue indigo type color. Um, but in the bright light, you think you would see it better, right? But I thought it was black, but it still looks good blue. I, I'm not upset about it. I think the nail came out awesome. So I'm trying to draw like a, a pot of gold pot, um, and at first, um, you know, the shape came together pretty well. And I did want the top to be above the grass a little bit so that you could actually see the, like, the lip of the pot type thing. And I'm just filling it in with my Beatles liner brush. Love those brushes, man. Love them. I don't know if they're back in stock or not. Um, 
but if they do get back in stock, snatch them up because they work wonderful and they're beautiful too. I just checked on Inst on Amazon real quick and they are nowhere to be found. Um, but I will let you know when they do come back out because they are wonderful. Um, so I am just finished painting in the blue. I did want to make the pot a little more, um, it almost ended up looking like a Grecian urn. <laughs> but, um, yeah, because I took out a bunch of color there and I just didn't like the way it looked. That's just a cleanup brush with some rubbing alcohol on it which I might have to use a little bit more sparingly lately because, damn, you can't find nothing in the stores at all. But, so I'm just here, like, fixing the edges, and I actually decided to take white and paint over the black part to accentuate the shape of the pot instead of trying to keep it all black. If you are still watching, please hit the like button. It really helps me out. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell if you like my videos. That way you'll know every time I put out new content. Um, I actually ended up switching this nail with a different nail that I had for a set for a contest for the Gel NY. They have like a get green sale and... Um, so I have three of their green polishes. Um, the voting is supposed to start today the 16th and go through the 18th. So I will put a link in the description box. So if you could please go vote for me, I would really appreciate it. Um, they don't have a link right at this moment while I'm doing the voiceover, but I would, thank you. I would love it. Um, it would definitely help my collection and I would be able to bring you, you know, more awesome nail art. So Thank you in advance if you do. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> um, I really did like the way that this one came out. It was fairly easy to do as well, which y'all know um, with my free hand. Oh, man. <laughs> I'll be practicing for a good long while, but this one was, was pretty easy. And I really love the effect that it ended up with. So... Don't forget to check out everyone that is in the collab. They will be listed in the description box as well as a playlist. Um, so check out the other ladies' designs. There are some beautiful ones this time. Really gorgeous. So please go check them out. Um, I know it's kind of hard to see with the picture that I just popped up there in the beginning. But, man, there's some really, really good ones this time. So, yeah, definitely check it out. Instagram, their videos, whatever. But, you know... Go put a like, leave a comment, you know, show some love for this um, very different St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> okay, so what I did was I had um, different size gold circles in with this um, 12 grid glitter thing. Uh, originally, I was going to put different size circle, uh, different size coins because I wanted it to look like coins. But then I figured there really aren't different size coins except you know, like gold, whatever. I wanted the, all the coins to be the same size. So that's what I did. And I did end up cutting a few of them in half or like three quarters. And I think that really helped with the effect as well. Most of this placement was um, off screen. So I didn't really worry about it. I did paint a rainbow um, off camera because I just did the squiggly rainbow, so y'all know how I did it. And I used the same exact colors from the It's Mellow collection. But I think the rainbow really topped it off and made it just beautiful. So that's why I switched it out with another nail for that um, contest. And now I'm just top coating it all in. It did take a few coats um, to totally cover the glitter. Now this, Miss Tammy from Tammy's Manny's sent this beautiful St. Patty's Day or St. Patty's Party, I believe the name was. Um, and there are green circles, there's some purple in there, lots of hollow. There are clear iridescent um, shamrocks, that's what I'm trying to show you right here. I don't know if you can see it on there since it's clear. I'm just poking it with the, um, you know, the dotting tool. 
Um, and then there are green shamrocks in here as well, as well as gold holographic, green, green holographic. I mean, her glitters are very, very gorgeous, and I really just wanted to try to showcase it as best as I could without spilling it everywhere. That's why I use a dotting tool instead of a, um, instead of the cuticle pusher, because I, I knock on wood, I was lucky. I was real lucky with this one. <laughs> So I decided to paint the last nail a darker green. In my other set, I used the lightest green and I put a thin layer of the glitter on it. With this one, I am using, um, I'm not sure if I used top coat or base coat. Hmm. I didn't want to, I didn't want to have to top coat it. I wanted to leave it just loose. Well, not loose, but you know, not covered. And I love, I love the way it came out. I love the effect. Um, I had a lot of fun too, just scooping the glitter on there and playing with it. And you know, who doesn't love playing with glitter, right? As long as it doesn't spill. <laughs> and y'all know me with the spillage. So I definitely didn't want to waste one single, single sliver of this glitter. There was some um, shreds in there too, gold shreds. Oh, she mixes beautiful, beautiful glitters. Um, I did take some of the purple off, um, and there's even holographic butterflies in there that I didn't know, notice, and there is a clear shamrock, and the, um, I was gonna say gold shamrock, <laughs> the green shamrock, um, yeah, and I'm just taking off some of the purple. I love the purple in there, in the mix, but I really wanted it to be mostly green, but those, those shots of purple you know, really accentuate the other glitters as well. I do like how it looks against the darker uh, background than I did against the light, but I left the light one in there because if I switched it with this one, um, it didn't really, it showcased the glitter better than it did the polish, and that was not the point of the contest. So, Y'all know how it goes <laughs> when it comes to stuff like that. But I wanted to showcase her glitter as best I could because she really is awesome at mixing it. Okay, so this is the final look. I did add some glitter around the hearts. I took off those stones because, like I said, I wasn't very happy with it. We have the... Um, pot of gold at the end of the rainbow in the middle and then Tammy's Manny's beautiful um St. Patty's Party glitter and yeah I love that glitter I cannot tell you how much I love that glitter <laughs> it's gorgeous these are the St. Patty's nails for the contest the thumb is a sugared lip and then it says me I'm and a four letter a four leaf clover so kiss me I'm Irish which I'm not but you know the saying and then I have a beautiful green marble nail that I got the idea from Miss Roseanne from Miss Classy Nail Design. She did um, a marble nail in her St. Patty's nails and it came out fabulous. Better than mine, but you know. The middle nail is St. Patty's Party from Tammy. Um, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. And then a cross, you know, St. Patrick's Day, the whole background of it and everything. So that is the set, Lucky to be Blessed. So if you are going to vote, that's what it looks like. That is the name. So thank you if you do. Please don't forget again to check out Val McPossum or McPossum. Happy er uh, belated birthday again, sis. I hope your day was wonderful. And don't forget to check out everybody else in the collab, all listed down below playlist, links, all of that in the description box. Thanks so much for watching. Have a marvelous St. Patrick's Day. And thanks again. Mwah.